Hey guys, Rocket Rob here, and today I'm back with another annoying deck feature. So today we're going to be looking at the Deoxy uh, Cosmo Energy deck. So this video has actually been sent in by X Speed. So thank you very much for submitting. Uh, X Speed has given me a bunch of videos from the really early days of Pokemon Jewel, um, which is really really cool. So thank you. With this video here. Uh, we're going to be looking at the Deoxy Cosmo Energy deck. So this one that we're featuring here, uh, it's X Thunder, and he's up against D Lilu. Obviously, there's a little difference with the deck here because it's using a Tapu Coco. I couldn't actually find one with all six Deoxys, but it basically works the same way. So, I mean, we're just going to be looking at how this deck works reminding you guys how bloody annoying it is and i want you to tell me if you think that this is the most annoying deck i still personally believe it's that bloody celebi deck i did start playing pokemon jewel while the deoxy uh cosmo energy deck was right at its peak and i was getting annoyed by it all the time however let's have a look let's have a look I'll talk about my thoughts after we watch a bit more of this match. So what you do is you start by playing this Cosmo Energy play as Thunder has done. And now you start, yeah, you basically bring out your figures, you get this board set up, you've got your rush there, so you get a couple of speed. As you know, speed can be used in defense and for, um, you know, for attack as well. It's not very strong, but it can rush. And so Thunder very, very quickly has the board under, you know, he's got pressure on that side of the board. We haven't seen any attacks yet, but when you do, we'll be able to uh, see how this Deoxy uh, deck works properly. So as you can see here, he attacks. The oh, gets the dimension. So that was the big problem with Dio attack. Dio attack is really, really awesome um, Pokemon. Uh, really f great figure or was back in the day when it got released and stats were unbelievable it got power creeped out of existence but at the time it was amazing um but yeah that dimension slip will send it straight back to the bench the reason it didn't though in this case was because of lunala's ability so basically the lunala's ability kind of really helps out thunder here because its opponent can't be moved so we're not going to watch all of this, but I want to have um, a look at some of the strategy here. This is a 10 minute match, so I'm not going to watch the entire thing. Lunala was a beast as well. Like when that came out, that really changed the game. That's when Dio really started to lose its shine a bit. Because um, it could match it for attack. Before that, nothing could really match. So, and yeah, so it, it beats it here. But he's got the race spin. Gets the Moon Guy's beam, yeah. Lunala was just such an amazing figure when it came out. So he goes in for the counter and he gets the knockout here. So it's going to be, um, yeah, the Lunala goes to the bench. I uh, sorry, to the PC. And here we go. Here's where you can see the switch. So uh, Thunder gets attacked on the Dio speed and he can switch to the defense. And that was the idea of this strategy. It was just to continue to swap out constantly. It was super annoying. At this point though in the game, there were some uh, figures that could beat him, but at that point, it was hard. It was never unbeatable, though, to be honest. I remember you just got to get really lucky with your spins, and you would be able to um, beat a Dio, a, a Dio deck. Unlike the Celebi deck, which, you know, there were hard counters, but literally, if you ran a hard counter, your deck would be shithouse against anything else you go up against. Like... If you get another meta deck, it just wouldn't work. So, 
Yeah. I still think that the Celebi deck is the most annoying. We're going to skip now to the end of this match and just see who wins. So, at this point, I think Thunder's had some exclusions go against him. So, he's down to... Yeah, he's got two figures on the field. Uh, sorry, two usable figures at the moment. Yeah, Lilu is a really, really strong player. He was the first... When I started in the D clan and went up, that was basically the first opponent that I lost to in the first tournament. And he absolutely slaughtered me. Even when I got decent at this game, I don't think I ever managed to beat Lilu. Anyway, so yeah, that's the Deoxy deck. I'm sure a lot of you guys remember it. I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you think about it, whether this is the most annoying deck or whether the Celebi deck or something else is the most annoying. I would love to hear your thoughts, guys. But that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let me know what, uh, what decks you want me to feature next. And if you've got any videos of Pokemon Duel matches, please send them in. I'd be happy to feature them if you can send me some good ones. But that's going to do it. This is Rocket Rob blasting off again. I'll see you in the next video.